Now, Hillary Clinton is also proposing new tax deductions for small business, uh, but is, is, is it right? I want to go have you hold on for one minute because I want to go to small business owner Butch Yamali, who says Donald Trump's plan will be more effective. Butch, uh, thanks, thanks for joining us. How are um, you? Now, we know that Donald Trump, 15, um, the 15 percent uh, tax rate for small business is obviously attractive. I own a small business. Is Hillary Clinton making a move in the right direction? Hillary is very vague. Everything that she's doing and talking about is just vague and plain. I'm going to give a tax break. I'm going to repeal some of the Obamacare, Affordable Care, uh, make it easier for small businesses to raise money. It's how are you going to do that? I mean, at least Trump, you know, is a businessman. The man's going to help you. He's going to try and make it easy for everybody to grow and grow the economy, make jobs. I mean, if I wanted to build a foundation, maybe I would go after Hillary Clinton and ask her how to do it. Not about small business. She has no idea. Okay, let me, uh, Julie, uh, Hillary Clinton making some changes or at least, uh, you know, fine-tuning fine whether her focus on small businesses. Donald Trump's 15 percent tax cut mm -hmm. and removing regulations and, and redoing Obamacare sound like music to the ear of uh, uh, small business owners. Can she or would she ever propose anything near that? Well, she's been very specific about what she's proposed. He's talking about re repealing Obamacare. That's great. Is he replacing it with something or are we just repealing well, just it? Just starting with the 15% tax rate. But listen, even the 15% tax rate, that's fine. Listen, I'm a small business owner. I would frankly love a 15% tax rate. How are you going to balance the budget? Are you going to have enough revenue to do that? I mean, these are all questions that he's refused to answer. Now, it's getting late in the cycle for him to answer them. If you look on his website, there's really very few specifics about what he intends to do. Listen, we'd all love to be paying much less in taxes. Donald Trump, by the way, his record as a businessman, I'm not so sure, is something that we would want to emulate. Poor well, business, poor that's, no, poor, that's, poor business uh, bankruptcy. That's not too far afoot right there. Yeah. I mean, I, not, I, everyone agrees that he's an extremely up. successful business person. Poor I, I mean, business bankruptcy. And, and, yeah, four out of, out of hundreds of businesses. Wait, I, let's not get, that's, come on, Julie, that's a little bit. But so let me go back to you sure. um, on, this, on this idea here. Um, President Obama, through his presidency, did a lot of things, and I always thought they were sort of gimmicky, like, you know, they would give you a tax deduction on if you bought a printer. Of course, in the middle of a recession, that's the last thing any small business would do. So it was somewhat disingenuous. How confident are you that this overall economy could come back to the point where businesses and entrepreneurship will come back? I think if, if we can get Trump in there, we should be okay with it because he's going to fight to make businesses grow. How? That's what he's all about. How is he going to go? By, by repealing taxes, by getting rid of the Obamacare. It's, it's strangling, strangling me and strangling every other small business. Do you have any idea how much money it costs somebody to go to, to the doctor now and how much uh, deductibles they have? They went from zero to $5,000, mostly average person. People can't afford to pay that, and we can't afford to pay that. Right. It's terrible. All right, Julie, thank you I got to tell you, some specifics would be nice as to what he intends to replace it with. All right, guys, thank you both very, very much.